axis. So salience means, and I remember having to look this up, remember my PhD supervisor saying, you know what, I think we could be looking at salience here. And I thought, I haven't got a clue what salience is. Um, salience means something that is pronounced. It's prominent. And you could extract that a little bit further and say significant. So, for example, your own personal name is salient to you for your whole lives. So something can be salient, significant, prominent to you for your whole life. So you know when you're in a, in a room and a party and there's loads of noise and you have an in-depth conversation and then suddenly you over here in the background, your name. So I'm chatting away and then I hear Steve Kempster. And we all know the sort of the rule of, of life is the conversation you can trust is the one you overhear. So you're just listening to that, what is someone saying about me? Way, way over there. Because that's prominent. Doesn't matter what else the noise is in the room, you just hear Steve Kempster. Well, to you, of course, it's totally unsalient. But to me, it's utterly salient, and it's salient throughout my life. So salience is something about aspects in our whole world that stand out for us. So if there's a particular activity, sport, relationships, which are salient to you, in a sense, you wish to understand them and study them and get better at whatever that is. So it could be a parent. You are a parent and you want to be better at being a parent. Being a parent becomes salient. It's not salient until you, you're a parent and then suddenly you're wishing to be because it's significant. It stands out. It's prominent. Make sense? And those things can be salient for a long time. Or we can have a quick conversation this morning and a couple of us get really into this subject and it goes on for the rest of our lives, or it's only salient for this morning. So things can be salient just for a day. And so when you go back and you put the television on, suddenly leadership will stand out on the BBC News. When you're looking at a film, suddenly for today, it's salient. OK, what's the point of all this? The point is that... Those who learn how to lead and extend and get better and better and better at leading have leadership as salient to them. It's not just another thing. So salience of leadership greatly transforms our ability to learn the subject.